Cameron is an American rapper, songwriter, record producer, actor, record executive, and entrepreneur. He's best known for his solo albums, his leadership of the hip-hop group The Diplomats, also known as Dipset, and his collaborations with other artists such as Jay-Z, Kanye West, Mace, and Mariah Carey. He's also appeared in several films such as Paper Soldiers and Paid in Full. Cameron Net Worth Cameron's net worth is estimated to be $8 million. He's earned his wealth from his music sales, concerts, endorsements, and business ventures. Cameron Early Life Cameron was born Cameron Giles, February 4, 1976, in East Harlem, New York. He was raised by his mother, Frederica Giles, who died of a stroke on February 9, 2023. He went to school at the Manhattan Center for Science and Mathematics, where he met his longtime friends, Mace and Jim Jones. He was a promising basketball player alongside Mace, however, he was unable to take advantage of scholarships offered due to his poor academic standing. Instead, he enrolled in a college in Texas without even graduating from high school, but soon dropped out and returned to Harlem, where he began selling drugs before starting his rap career. Cameron's Relationships Cameron has been in several relationships throughout his life. Cameron dated Tawasa Harris for several years in the late 90s and early 2000s. They had a son together named Cameron Zeke Giles Jr., who was born in 1998. Harris died of a heart attack in 2019. Cameron dated Juju C, a model and entrepreneur from Miami from 2006 to 2017. They appeared together on the reality show Love & Hip Hop New York. They broke up due to infidelity issues. Cameron dated Rossi Diaz, real name of Raquel Roxanne Diaz, a TV personality and actress from Honduras in 2012. They were spotted together at various events and social media. They split up after a few months. Cameron Personal Life Cameron is known for his flamboyant style and personality. He often wears bright colors such as pink and purple and drives customized cars such as a pink Range Rover and a purple Lamborghini. He's also known for his humorous and witty lyrics and catchphrases such as Killa, Dipset, and You Mad, and No Homo. He's a fan of the New York Knicks basketball team and the Dallas Cowboys football team. He's a devout Christian and has a tattoo of Jesus on his chest. Cameron Career Cameron began his rap career in the mid-90s as Killa Cam. He signed up to Lance on Riviera's entertainment label under the aegis of Epic Records. And it released his first two studio albums, Confessions of Fire, 98, and Sports, Drugs, and Entertainment, 2000. In 2001, Cameron left Epic and signed with Rockefeller Records, a label co-founded by Jay-Z. He released his third studio album, Come Home With Me, in 2002, which was his most successful album to date. It achieved platinum status by the RIAA and spawned his highest charting singles, Oh Boy and Hey Ma, which peaked at number 4 and number 3 in the Billboard Hot 100, respectively. The album also introduced his group, The Diplomats, which consisted of Jim Jones, Julia Santana, and Freaky Ziki. In 2003, Cameron and The Diplomats released their debut album, Diplomatic Immunity, which was certified gold by the RIAA and features the popular song Dipset Anthem, I Really Mean It, and Hey Ma, a remix. In 2004, Cameron released his fourth studio album and final release on Rockefeller Records, Purple Haze. In 2005, Cameron separated from his label Diplomat Records from Rockefeller due to disagreements between himself and Jay-Z. He signed the label to a distribution deal with Asylum Records. He also released his second film, Kill a Season, which he directed, wrote, and starred in. The film was a semi-autobiographical story of his life in Harlem. In 2006, Cameron released his fifth studio album, Kill a Season. In 2007, Cameron was shot in both arms during an attempted carjacking in Washington, D.C. He survived the incident and drove himself to the hospital. He later said that he believed he was set up by someone he knew. In 2008, Cameron took a hiatus from music due to his mother's health issues. He also had a falling out with Jim Jones over the management of Diplomat Records. In 2009, Cameron returned to music and released his sixth studio album, Crime Pays. In 2010, Cameron formed a new duo called The UNs, The Us Nows, with fellow rapper Vado. They released their debut album Guns and Butter in 2011. In 2012, Cameron reconciled with Jim Jones and announced that the Diplomats were working on a new album. In 2013, Cameron signed a deal with Mark McNary to launch a line of capes called Cape Season. In 2014, Cameron collaborated with a track on an EP titled called Federal Reserve. In 2015, Cameron reunited with the Diplomats for a concert in the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. In 2016, Cameron appeared on Kanye West's album The Life of Pablo on the song's Famous. In 2017, Cameron released his seventh studio album, The Program, which features the singles D.I.A., You Wasn't There, and 10,000 Miles. In 2018, Cameron released his eighth studio album called Purple Haze, which featured the singles Toast to Me 
and believe and flee. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe, like, and share this video.